Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do animation retargeting. So we can take an animation for the default UE4 mannequin here and place it onto our own custom Mixmo character over here. This is very simple and I'll show you how to do it. So for this, I'm going to obviously be using a character I got off of Mixmo and also the starter animation pack you can get for free on the Unreal Marketplace. So let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is find our two skeletons. So we want the skeleton for our new character, so our Mixmo character, and the skeleton for the character we're taking the animations from, so our mannequin. So I'll open both of those up. So I'll open up my SWAT skeleton here, which is the one we're putting the animations on, and then we'll also get our mannequin one. So for me, that's an Anim starter pack, UE4 mannequin, mesh, and the skeleton there. So open that up as well. Then we'll also just go back to the animation we want. So I've already put that in a folder, and I want to retarget this animation here. What we'll do is close that and go back to our skeletons. And what we're going to do first is go to our mannequin skeleton, which is the skeleton the animation is on originally. So it doesn't matter too much which way around you do this, but this is how I'm doing it. So what we do is go to retarget manager here, or if that isn't there for you, what you can do is just hit this retarget manager button up here, which then brings you up to here. And what you're going to do is simply just down here under setup rig, we're going to hit select rig and select humanoid rig like this. And this should now be done for us. You can see down here we have all of these already set in. So we'll see the root is the root, pelvis, pelvis, all of these are set in already. And now before we do the same thing for this, you can see that this is in a T pose, this is more of a Y pose. So what we're going to do is change this. So we're going to make it a T pose like this skeleton is here. So we'll just simply select the arms here and move them up. So we'll rotate them into a T pose position like this. So the upper arm like that. And down here hit modify pose and then use current pose like that which has now fixed that issue and then if you go up here to preview mesh and then select the skeleton it might already be done for you but if it's not just make sure you select that and then we can save that there like so and then what we're going to do is go to our new skeleton so like i say go back to that go back on the retarget manager and again set up the rig select rig and select humanoid rig like so now you can see now it says none in all of these apart from the head as that has the same name so if it has the same name as the other skeleton, it will do it for you automatically. But if not, we need to do it ourselves. So if you're going from Mixamo, the root won't have one. So root will leave as none. But obviously if you have a root bone, put that in there. And the pelvis in Mixamo is hips. Spine 01 is just spine. Spine 2 is spine 1. Spine 3 is spine 2. So you can see they kind of have a resemblance so you know which one's which. And it is typically just going down this list like so. And so the next one is clavicle L, which is the left shoulder. So select left shoulder. Upper arm L is left arm. Lower arm L is left forearm. And obviously hand L is left hand. And then it's the same for the right. So clavicle R, scroll down to right shoulder. Upper arm R, right arm. Lower arm R, right forearm. Hand R is right hand. So as you can see, we're just going down the list, selecting, making sure that all the bones match. So that's what we're doing right now. We're matching the other mannequin's bones to this skeleton's bones as well, so that it's going to be using the bone mappings and the targets from that animation to just put it on here. The neck is obviously the neck, which is up here. Neck 01 will be neck 1 there. Head is head, done automatically for us. Thigh L will be left up leg. Calf L will be left leg foot L will be left foot and once you've done this once it's in your head and you can do it super quickly afterwards onto thigh R so that's right up leg calf R right leg foot R is right foot and that is now done so you can go through this again make sure it's all correct but it is for me and again the more you do this the quicker you'll be at it so then hit save this pose is how we want it but what we can do is preview mesh select that skeletal mesh and down here hit apply to asset like so, and hit save again. And then what we'll do is minimize this and select the animations we want to retarget. And we can choose as many as we like. I'm just gonna be choosing this sprinting one here. So we'll right click on that and go up to retarget anim assets, duplicate anim assets and retarget. And we're gonna select our skeleton that we want. So as you can see here, we have the mannequin here in that pose and our character here in this pose as well. Now, if they don't look the same size or same scale, same distance or anything, that doesn't matter, as long as they're in the same pose and you can see them, it will work. So I'm just going to change the game folder for where I want it to go into my SWAT folder here. Hit OK and hit retarget. Then if we open this up, we can see that that has now worked. So we now have this animation here. 
And you can see here, it looks a little bit odd, so the hands are a bit like that. So if we open up the other one, the hands are closed. In this one, they're not. And now the reason for that will be we haven't set up the fingers. So obviously in this, the fingers are curled up. This one, they're not. So it's just gone to straight out. So to fix that, we go back to the skeleton, show advanced. And now we can do the fingers as well. So obviously it will be the exact same. We need to do this for this one as well. Show advanced looks like this. So like I say, that one's done for us. So basically let's do it for this one now as well. So index 1L will be left hand index 1, index 02L, obviously left hand index 2. So as you see, it's very easy to tell which one goes where. Left index 3, left hand middle 1, left hand middle 2, left hand middle 3, and then pinky L. So again, just go through all of these. Pinky 1, Pinky 2, Pinky 3. Now onto the ring fingers. Ring 1, Ring 2, Ring 3. And then thumb, thumb 1, thumb 2, and thumb 3. And now we'll need to do that for the right as well. And for the lower arm twist, the mixed mode characters don't have that either. So we'll be fine without doing that for the upper, lower and upper arm twist. We can leave that as none. So then do the same for the right hand. So index 1, 2, 3, all the way down there until you have it done to how you want it. So we've done all that and now again these twists and everything here we don't have so we'll be fine to just save this like so. So this should now be done. Preview animation already on like that. So if we now close these again and then delete this animation we retargeted as we need to do it again with the updated skeleton. So if we right click on animation, retarget anim assets, duplicate, select our skeleton, and then change where we want it to go. Hit OK, retarget. Now if we open this up, it should look better. So as you can see, it looks a lot better already. Now obviously it doesn't look perfect, but you'll just keep messing about with it more and more within the more details to how you want, because I've shown you the basics of how to do it. So you'll be able to carry on to go more advanced as it's the exact same principle, things just have different names, but you will be able to tell what the names correlate with as long as obviously the skeleton you're going from has named them properly, which they should have. So what I'm going to do now is just put this in here to show you as well. So I do this, drag them over here, use animation asset, use that one there, see that works, and I'm also just going to put it onto my character as well. Now obviously I haven't got the blueprint and I've only done one animation, so it's going to be constantly running all the time. However, that is fine. So I'll just select skeletal mesh to swap there and the asset to like that. And if we hit play, you can see that we're running with the same animation and they're in there as well. So we've gone from this skeleton here to this skeleton to have this animation play this animation. And this works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do. Like I say, we've retargeted this skeleton's animation of this to this skeleton to have this animation and it works perfectly. So you can do this as many times as you want, there's many animations, and there's many different skeletons. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.